All right, 6.09 now on this Friday morning. Good morning, Russ. Good morning, Greg. And yes, we had some flurries on the local ski hills yesterday while we were dodging the uh, rain and hail showers in parts of Metro Vancouver. Your latest weather report, this one is brought to you by Sunripe. Let's have a look at our current temperatures province-wide. It's a bit on the chilly side again over many parts of the interior, including the Caribou region and the central interior. We're seeing temperatures down near the freezing mark, even over southern Vancouver Island, under a clearing sky. So that bodes well for what's in today's forecast. Don't know how long it's going to hang on, though. Our satellite and Doppler radar just underneath the bottom bar here showing you that most of the showers dropping into Washington state, tapering off over the southern part of the island, tapering off in the lower mainland, but they may redevelop at times over Vancouver Island ahead of the next system that's sort of pushing its way down. So our drying trend locally, it's temporary. It really only holds up for the daylight hours today. Let's go region by region and see what's happening on Vancouver Island. Again, with a chance of some scattered showers redeveloping at times for the central part of the island and also the west coast. Eight in Tofino. A little sun shows up in Victoria, mind you, for a high of eight degrees. And these weather icons look a bit more threatening than what's actually going on. But scattered showers are possible into Squamish. One or two flurries into Worcester with lots of stubborn leftover cloud cover and a high of around plus one for today. Across parts of the southern interior, Penticton a little milder than Kelowna. Generally, it's drying out. Currently, there are some mixed rain and snow showers in the vicinity. I don't think they'll last much beyond the morning hours. So we'll eliminate them from your afternoon forecast and sneak in a few breaks of sun here and there instead. Locally today, well, how about a partly cloudy 8 degrees early on today, or rather 5 degrees early on, and then the sun comes out for a high of 8 into the afternoon. At the end of the day, it is mostly cloudy, and that rain, it is back by this evening. So we only have uh, a number of hours of dry conditions for the daylight hours. Here's your weekend outlook, including light rain tomorrow, heavier rain Sunday, and maybe another break on Monday, but I think the overriding theme of that long-range picture, it's still quite wet and windy, including the middle of next week. All right.